And we'll come to your gold market update as we move towards the middle of the Asian session and charts of the day for today, Thursday the 15th of June 2023. Mike Smith, Cena, Analyst at Gold Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets so far today. Of course, overnight we saw the Fed pause with its interest rate rises, but they did telegraph another two later in the year, which produced a very choppy response from markets. Uh, the Nasdaq did manage to finish in positive territory. The S&P 500 was around neutral and the Dow down just under 0.7%. US futures are near neutral in Asian session. Asian markets are generally positive today. The Chinese market was the only one that was down at the time of recording. The ASX is up around 0.3%. And that's despite some adverse CPI data. European futures are pointing to a cautious open and the VIX has dropped to retest three-year lows. US dollar index was negative overall yesterday, but it, but it did pair its losses overnight. It is also up in Asia today. As a result, gold is testing support at the bottom of its range. Copper surprisingly pushed higher to test resistance overnight. Just a little pullback in Asia this morning. And oil is also slightly lower and may test support if this trajectory continues. Cryptos sold off significantly, breaching its 200 EMA on Bitcoin and that represents its lowest level since March. Be interesting to see if we get a follow through on that. Could precipitate even more selling, one suggests. On the data front, we've had negative GDP out of New Zealand, which means that they have now entered technical recession, being two consecutive quarters of negative growth. Australian inflation expectations were higher than consensus, which was somewhat surprising, and also higher than last month's number. Jobs data is also out. It does sort of give the green light to the RBA, but little response in the AUD or the ASX at this stage. Chinese retail sales and industrial production number is also of interest. And later on today, we've got the ECB rate decision. US manufacturing, weekly jobs and retail sales completing a very busy day today. Lots for the markets to digest at the moment. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, here's the GB pound Australian dollar, and this is subsequent to that inflation number coming out. And you can see it pushing up on that AUD weakness, which is sort of contrary to what is the norm. We are watching yesterday's highs. Uh, you can see this happened uh, subsequent to the PMI data being released and then Fed action after that. So you can see a very, very choppy session on this. We're watching 187 on this. If we just pop it on a daily chart, You'll see the significance of 187, which is at this point here, uh, and a breach of that would certainly suggest a possible 60 to 70 pip move upwards if we look technically at the chart. You can see there, that would essentially take us up to potentially this level. May get a pause uh, around about 40 pips high, but one's certainly worth watching. On the ASX, we're looking at Next DC Limited, uh, who are having a good day again. Following this retracement, we look as though we're going to retest the highs from a couple of weeks ago at $13. Uh, you can see that we are trading towards the high of the session. Uh, so certainly worth keeping on. Most certainly a continued buying comes into tech. And this would represent a, a high not seen since September 21 and could set us up for a move in the medium term up to around about 1371 for this company who has a fairly significant ai component to its business trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now